Ford update accelerates Blue Cruise adoption. Mustang Mach-E F-150. As artificial intelligence is getting stronger day to day, it has been used in driving. Many top players from the car manufacturing industries are willing to use it and implement it in their cars. While GM has Super Cruise technology and Tesla has autopilot with full self-driving, now there's a new entry in the town, boys. Last year, Ford unveiled its Blue Cruise technology, and it looks super awesome. And this year, the American powerhouse is ready to implement it on the top models. So, what is this Blue Cruise? How does it work, and what benefits do we get? Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Zen. Today, we are talking about the latest news coming from Ford Motor Company, which is quite interesting and going to make many people happy. Are you ready to know? Hey, without any further delay, let's get started. And before we do, please hit that bell icon so you never miss out on any new updates from our channel. Ford's Blue Crew Superior Driver Help Generation is rolling out to an increasing number of cars within the U.S. In fact, the automaker says the Mustang Mach-E, F-150, and different cars have together collected 10.6 million hands-loose dual carriageway using miles because the device first got here to the marketplace 12 months ago. According to what Ford CEO Jim Farley shared, adoption is growing exponentially as Ford's PowerUp software program updates permit the corporation to deliver Blue Cruise generation to a developing variety of clients. The Ford proprietors sold their cars earlier than the tech formally launched, so a software program replacement is wanted to prompt the device. Ford says a few 15,000 2021 F-150 and Mustang Mach-E proprietors have already taken gain of the PowerUp software program updates for Blue Cruise. Moreover, every other 35,000 clients have already begun the process. Adding those numbers to folks that already had the tech once they took ownership, there might be almost 70,000 Ford clients that use the Blue Cruise hands loose dual carriageway using the device. As a way of Ford's PowerUp software program updates are concerned, the Blue Cruise generation is simply the end of the iceberg. As the automaker moves forward, it's going to show that it's able to constantly enhance its cars through numerous software program updates, even once you purchase them. Ford likewise uses fleet statistics and nameless scents from proprietors to assist enhance its driver help generation in order that it plays extra like a human driver. According to the company, the Blue Cruise PowerUp software program replaces additionally and provides some different functions and enhancements. In addition to the dual carriageway using assistant, the Mustang Mach-E electric-powered crossover receives games in addition to EV charging and using upgrades. Ford statistics suggest that drivers are the use of the Blue Cruise device maximum on some remarkable routes. The route's maximum traveled with Blue Cruise up to now encompass highways among Dallas and Houston, Salt Lake City and Las Vegas, and Cape Canaveral and Fort Lauderdale. Even extra compelling is that only a month ago, Ford's Blue Cruise customers had best collected 4.5 million miles, however that variety extra then doubled to 10.6 million miles in only a month. So, you guys may be wondering what Blue Cruise technology really is and how it works, but before that, please make sure you subscribe to our channel if you've not already done so. The Blue Cruise technology is Ford's hands-free system which was introduced in April 2021. It uses driver-facing camera, radar, and other cameras to keep the vehicle in its lane. The camera tracks the driver's eyes, even with sunglasses on, and the system prompts drivers to pay attention if they get distracted. A blue zone appears in the instrument cluster when the system is available for use. Blue Cruise will operate the steering, braking, and throttle on more than 100,000 miles of map-divided highways in the United States and Canada as long as the driver keeps his or her eyes on the road. Because the driver is required to monitor things at all times, the system still ranks at level 2 on the SAE scale of self-driving capability. Ford said future updates will add the ability to automatically change lanes and adjust the speed for upcoming curves and roundabouts. GM Super Cruise can also move the vehicle to exit ramps when a navigation destination is programmed, but Ford didn't comment on that capability. However, Ford did say Blue Cruise will have a function that centers the vehicle in its lane when hands-free driving isn't available. Although there is a lot of interesting things going on now, General Motors was upset by Ford's choice of name. General Motors says the name violates trademarks of GM's proprietary Super Cruise hands-free system, as well as its self-driving car division, Cruise. In the lawsuit, GM accuses Ford of unfair competition, asks the court to stop Ford from using their Blue Cruise name, and seeks unspecified damages from Ford. We have no choice but to vigorously defend our brand and protect the value of our products and technology that have earned in the marketplace over the years, says GM. 
Although I think it's not really a big thing, and General Motors is just making a fuss about it. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about it. Ford has tested Blue Cruise with over 500,000 miles of real-world driving in almost every state using the software day and night and in sunny and stormy conditions. Ford engineers also tested the system in what is called the mother of all road trips last November and in December of 2021. The trip included 10 vehicles, 5 with F-150 and 5 in the Mustang Mach-E, and traveled 110,000 miles in 62 days in 37 U.S. states and 5 Canadian provinces. Blue Cruise caps the first year Ford Power Up software updates, demonstrating the transformative capability to improve many computer controlled vehicle systems to regularly make vehicles better and deepen relationships with customers. Ford is using anonymized data insights customers voluntarily share to make Blue Cruise even better by refining visual sensing and steering for more natural performance. The Blue Crew software update accelerates charging and upgrading of Mustang, Mach-E, games and EVs, increasing the productivity of the F-150. Ford achieved these capabilities in the first year of introducing this technology. On the street, Blue Cruise is great. It does exactly what it's meant to. Not anything greater, not anything less. Keeping my eyes on the visitors ahead, Blue Cruise continues the auto nicely located in its lane, even though like Super Cruise, it from time to time favors the proper facet a touch greater than I'd like in an automobile like this. Small scale changes are easy in converting lanes. Even as now no longer a part of Blue Cruise's portfolio, it's not precisely difficult. Simply hit the flip side and use your hands, then look forward to the display screen to display hands-free as soon as you can. It's really well worth noting that in my confined time with Blue Cruise, it best covered nicely made, without a doubt delineated highways, so I'll want a few greater times and jankier situations to peer the way it handles those. But as a way, first impressions go, this is a superb one. On this occasion, the auto receives a two-part of the street that's not authorized for Blue Cruise, or if the automobile wishes the driving force to retake managing for anything else, an audible chime accompanies a written request at the gauge display. The digital Digicam is accountable for tracking the driving force's eyes, and it's tucked away above the infotainment display screen, so you do not want to fear uh, repositioning the guidance wheel by which it is accidentally blocking the cameras, as is the case with the Mercedes-Benz EQS's driving force aids. It'll be a characteristic if that driving force is sporting both shades or a mask. However, it might not function if each is worn simultaneously, because the digital digicam would not have a whole lot of face left to digitize at that point. Many people still think that there's no need to add AIs to the car, but let me tell you something. AI cannot be any worse than the millions of lunatics driving on the road every day all around the world. I refuse to believe that AI is run by a reputable big firm, which is highly regulated, and it could be any worse than getting in a taxi in, say, Bangkok, in a 20-year-old car not maintained properly, without seatbelts, and a driver that, even if they passed a test, which is meaningless, is surrounded by other equally poor drivers. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. We sincerely hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any comments or questions for us, you can let us know in the comment space below. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more incredible videos. Hey, we'll catch up with you in our next video. Keep racing, and thanks for